So guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to build passive income with an SMMA, with a social media marketing agency. Now, I'm not the biggest believer of passive income. I truly believe that passive income, all it is, is just building very rigid and streamlined and efficient systems and processes for your business, for your agency, so that it can run pretty much on autopilot. It can run without you being so much in the business, right? It can really run with you being removed as much from the equation as possible. And that is what I wanna share with you guys in this video, how to build your agency to a point where you've reduced yourself so much from the equation, where you get your agency to the point where you have time, location, and financial freedom. And those are really the three areas that we're looking to have just unlock and, and, and have really complete control over because when you when you have not only the money, right? Uh, yes, you could build an agency that is doing five, six, eight, ten k, right? You could build an agency to that point. Uh, but if you're enslaving away for your clients a hundred hours a week, I would argue, guys, that the person who's making four k a month, right? But but is working four hours a week that person is making a lot more, right? Because the, the main KPI that you guys should base your success off of is how much are you making per hour that you work? That is the main KPI that we are optimizing for. And so with that being said, there are three areas in your social media marketing agency that you need to master and you need to automate and you need to streamline as, as much as possible so that you have that time, location, and financial freedom. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the exact process that I follow to make sure that those three areas in my social media marketing agency are very well taken care of that have put systems in place that have maybe taken quite a bit of time to put in place, right? But they're at this point are running pretty much on autopilot and I can just remove myself from the equation as much. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, the first area that you truly wanna master and automate to an extent is sales and outreach, right? Now, the sales part, jumping on calls with clients, jumping on discovery calls uh, to see if a client is a good fit and selling them to the service, that really can't be automated. Uh, and I don't recommend you guys bring on a sales rep up until, you know, if you're making 100K with your agency, then uh, it could make sense. But even then, when it comes to that last line, right, uh, that last step uh, of, of the sales process, you as the business owner, as the agency owner, you wanna be in complete control over that last step to get them to jump over the last uh, final hurdle. And so I don't recommend you guys hire uh, any external per person to come in and, and be a sales rep and, and take care of uh, sales calls. I've seen people in the industry, you know, preach that. I don't, I, I don't personally recommend it because I truly believe that there's no one in the world that truly believe that is able to sell your agency the way you can to a prospect, right? And it's also a skill that you just wanna master, right? Uh, I see a lot of people trying to you know, run away from sales, and I'm sorry to break it up to you, but if you wanna be a good agency owner, you wanna master sales, right? And yes, it's gonna be painful. I'm not sure if you guys saw one of my latest videos, which was actually reacting to my first ever client signing on a call, and it is, it is absolutely cringe, but uh, a lot of people are taking a lot of nuggets away from it. Uh, it's right here uh, if you guys wanna check it out after this video. But so that being said, yes, the sales you can't really automate, uh, but the outreach process, you can really automate. And I've got my agency to a point where it's very automated, right? And you guys might, might have seen some of my, my previous videos where I show you guys how I'm booking 40 to 50 discovery calls pretty much on autopilot at this point. And I'm mainly doing that through email, mainly doing that through LinkedIn, and I'm also doing that through the video audit method. At this point, another thing that I'm doing is I'm driving a lot of traffic to a, a free masterclass that I put together. Now, I'm not running paid ads. I found that I get much better returns on the current automation system that I currently have in place uh, with email and LinkedIn. Uh, but yeah, that, that is really my strategy, and I truly believe that the sales process can be automated to a very large extent. And the way you can automate that is by having some sort of landing page that does a lot of the speaking for you, right? Where you can almost uh, front load the pitch and then get them to book in a call with you. And that is how you automate outreach. And that is how I pretty much get discovery calls booked on autopilot without me having done anything, right? I will wake up and there will be discovery calls on my scheduler or my QD scheduler booked without much involvement from me, right? And that, when you get uh, your agency to that point, it is very easy to scale because what you guys need to understand, especially when you start out, the more people that you're jumping on calls with, the likelier you are to sign more clients. And that is just uh, the, the truth. If you guys are not working in five to seven meetings on a weekly basis, then you're, you're honestly just gonna struggle as an agency owner. Then scaling your agency predictably is gonna be tough for you, okay? So that is uh, the, the first thing that I want you guys to keep in mind and the first area that we want to make sure we automate to an extent, right? Sales and outreach. And once you've got this area locked in, honestly, building an agency and scaling your agency is one of the most blissful things in the world. Uh, and so that is the, the first thing. The second thing is the service delivery. Now, at this point, I work around four, five, max six hours on service delivery for my clients on a weekly basis. Um, and that is because I've built an incredible team, an incredible uh, infrastructure in my agency so that 
The service delivery is taken care of by my ad specialist, uh, my actually two ad specialists at this point in my agency, right? And they take care of the, the service delivery. I've put a, a ton of time into the hiring process. If you're watching this and you're in my mentorship program, you, you understand what I'm talking about here. I'm not, I've, I've not only put just monastic obsession on the actual automation of the sales and outreach, but I've also put just monastic obsession on the hiring process of an A player. And so at this point, the people in my agency, Mobile C, they are A players, right? I don't have to chase them for work. They, they, they're proactive, they're on the ball, they get results, right? And it is a very blissful position to be in because I can just focus on the activities that I like the most. And so my most time at my agency when it comes to service delivery spent on jumping on calls with my team members. And we've got team calls on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, right? We wanna keep communication very streamlined as well. Uh, we don't wanna spend too much time uh, communicating. And also jumping on calls with my current clients, right? And more than just being in the trenches on the, the actual Facebook ads, I love to jump on calls with clients and really just draft the whole marketing strategy, right? And so we'll jump on a call with my clients and we'll take a look at the marketing strategy for that month, for that for those upcoming weeks. How can we actually maybe pivot? And we won't even take a look at just marketing. We'll take a look at sales, the customer journey, the customer experience, product fulfillment, right? How is the customer service? That is that, that is really the stuff that I love because yes, the service is purely just Facebook ads, but we have a 360 approach to e-commerce growth and that is what I love, right? Thinking more about the strategy, right? Drafting the, the overall strategy, having this Hawkeye view of business growth, online growth, and then getting my team to actually implement it. It's kind of like I steer the boat in the, the right direction, and then my team members who are just killer and, and just very talented people, then they row in that direction uh, as fast as we possibly uh, can and as profitably as we possibly uh, can. But that is really the, the you know one, one of the main things that I do, strategy, and really jumping on calls with clients and making sure that they're well taken care of, as well as I love to write some ad copy for my clients. Uh, I could technically not do that, right? I've got my ad specialist who can do that very well, uh, but I decided to do that because one, is a skill that I'm trying to master in the upcoming months, right? So I really just wanna get incredibly good with copywriting for a number of reasons. And number two is something that I actually find uh, very blissful uh, to do and uh, something that I personally think I'm, I'm pretty good at. And that is how I've streamlined my service delivery for my agency to a point where if I wanted to, I could literally let my team do the work for a whole week or two weeks. I could literally take a vacation and they and they would still turn out results, right? And there would be no break in the conveyor belt. It would just run very smoothly without much involvement from me. And if you want to build passive income with social media marketing agency, that is where you want to get your service delivery to. So that is the second thing. The final thing is client communication and client reporting. For that, I've also put very streamlined systems in place. Uh, I, I, I vividly remember a just, I think it was a month or a month and a half where I was just almost like breaking my head and, and putting together this just client ecosystem that would not only turn out results for clients, but that would ensure that we had the best client experience out there in the e-com space, uh, in the e-com agency game. We finally got incredible feedback from our clients on the client experience, for example, this email. And I truly know that it's one of the reasons why we've got a 14 month retention rate. Client results can go up and down, right? Yes, we want a, a, an upward trajectory, but there's no media buyer in the world that can get results on a predictable basis, right? The same way the market goes up and down, right? Yes, the, there's not as, as much you know unpredictability as in the market, but things can happen, right? Different trends, different uh, impacts on, on the economy. For example, coronavirus is a great example of that, right? And so there will be ups and downs, but as long as it's an upward trajectory and you've got amazing client experience, you will be able to keep your clients, right? Because for clients, it's just an, honestly a massive headache to go out and look for other media buyers, other agencies, after having seen just incredible client experience, after just feeling at, almost at home, right? They feel welcome and they feel so comfortable in our client's ecosystem. It would almost be like taking them out of this big house in like Calabasas or, or some nice neighborhood and putting them in this like, I, I, I don't know, putting them to like, wait on a bus stop in the Bronx, right? Or something like that, right? Waiting for an agency to come by um, and rescue them. I know it's a really bad analogy, but that is really what, what it would feel like, right? Because they feel so at home, they feel so well. And bringing it to the action board, there's two, two main things that I've implemented to make sure that the client ecosystem, the client reporting is as automated as possible. Number one, we've got automated reporting sheets, right? And so every single day, those sheets are automatically updated. Okay? And that is not the only uh, reporting ecosystem that we've built. It's really the one that's most quantitative, okay? Uh, that, that really just showcases the, all, all the KPIs and all the client results that our clients could literally want from us and, and could ever want. Uh, and so that whole thing is completely automated and updated every single day, right? Without much involvement from our side. And the second thing is 
When it comes to client communication, there are very rigid protocols in my team so that the ad specialists, the account admins in my team, right, they need to adhere to certain communication guidelines and they are required to have certain touch points with the client so that if I wanted, right, if, if I wanted, if I really wanted, I could travel for two weeks and the clients would still be well taken care of by my team. And, and this is really just human uh, interaction, right? This is human connection, human to human uh, communication, not just some automatically updated reporting sheet, which has a ton of value, but this is also human to human uh, connection and interaction, which is very important for a B2B uh, business. And, and, and it's really what, what solidifies a partnership between a client and a service provider. I, I truly believe that it's, it's that almost human element, right? It's not so much the results. Yes, that it's important, but it's really just having this very close relationship where you guys trust each other, where you guys are building just this monster and it feels like you guys are on this journey together, right? And that it gets to a point where they will vouch for you and they will see you as part of the family. And that's what we have for a lot of our clients, right? They see us as part of the family. They see us as like part of their team. It's not this very cold external agency uh, kind of you know relationship. It's this like family almost relationship, right? And what I can tell you guys from experience is very hard to fire family members. So that's the level that we want to get our agency to. So those are the three main aspects that you want to automate and streamline for your agency to build passive income for a social media marketing agency and really just build a, an agency that fuels your lifestyle, right? And non saves you to it. So number one, just to recap, we've got sales and outreach, really automating those sales processes so that they can book discovery calls pretty much on autopilot without much involvement from you, without you having to slave away six hours a day writing cold emails, which is what most agency owners, unfortunately, do. The second thing is the service delivery, right? Just having an incredible team that can take care of delivering the service for your clients so that you can take a vacation and still turn out incredible results for your clients. Number three, is client reporting and communication. Having very rigid communication protocols from your team, right? So that there's that human to human interaction and as well building this automated reporting infrastructure uh, that has taken quite a bit of time uh, for us and what we'll see uh, to build. And so those are the three main areas that you need to master and streamline to build that passive social media marketing agency. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. It really helps out a ton with the algorithm and it would really mean a lot to me. Secondly, comment down below any questions, any comments you may have and I will get to those ASAP. The third thing is if you haven't checked out the free masterclass that I've put together that I've literally poured my heart and soul into covering how to sign and keep four-figure SMA clients, you've got the link right below is the first link in the description. And guys, I feel like most of you are actually sleeping on the masterclass. Uh, and what I can promise you, I've got nothing for sale on the masterclass. I'm not actually selling you any product. And uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, I strongly recommend you do because like uh, you realize uh, when you actually check it out, why, why I'm urging you to check it out. Uh, it's honestly a game changer. So if you haven't checked that out, you're definitely sleeping on it. And if you don't want to sleep on it, go ahead and check it out. If you're watching this and you haven't subbed my YouTube channel, I've got so much content coming out four to five videos each week SMMA on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to SMMA with a specific focus on sales and outreach. And so if you don't want to miss any of that, go ahead and sub to my YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. And as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your agent's journey and I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace.